North Alabama football won its first road game of the Brent Deerman era, and now they're trying to win back to back games for the first time since becoming a full fledged Division One program. Good evening, I'm Nick Kuzma. The Purple Swarm wreaked havoc Saturday versus Tennessee Tech, causing five turnovers, blocking a field goal, and stopping the Golden Eagles three times on fourth down. But now the Lions have the task of shutting down two time reigning Ohio Valley Conference champion Tennessee Martin. The Skyhawks' lone loss this season was to Georgia and they've scored 104 points over the last two weeks. UT Martin's probably the best team we've played up to this point on our schedule. Um, tons of respect for the other four teams we've played, but I think Martin uh, has a lot of team speed. Uh, they can give you some some issues with the different, different schemes they run on offense and defense. Um, I think they're pretty solid up front on both sides of the ball, so we've got to uh, uh, bring our A game um, and understand that you got a really good opponent coming in to uh, Brawley, but uh, we got to defend our home turf. Sticking with the Lions, Phil J. Bienemy has become the second North Alabama player to receive a United Athletic Conference weekly honor. The redshirt sophomore defensive back intercepted two passes and recorded four tackles, three of them solo, and he's been named the UAC's Defensive Player of the Week. Bienemy and UNA kick off with UT Martin Saturday at 6 o'clock. The 1993 North Alabama Lions, the team that started the greatest run in program history, winning the first of three national championships, will be honored. Make sure to tune into Fox 54 Sports Extra on Sunday night for highlights from the game.